What is up guys and welcome back to Rudd's Call Crew Mud, Sheffield United, episode number 30. First up, as you see, West Brom at home in a sim match. We're going to actually uh, go on to win this as well. So, I mean, last episode, we actually, you know, picked up a few results. We did a lot, lot better um, because I think it was like the third or second or third episode into the new season. We just was absolutely rubbish. We drew against Swansea and then we lost against Tottenham. I mean, you know... I mean, the newly promoted team obviously doesn't expect to win against Tottenham. And then we also lost against Everton, which is kind of the same. But the main thing is, um, we were just not on a good run. You know, we've, we lost a lot of games. And I think maybe out of eight games or six games, we had like eight points. So, you know, we won't do very well. But last episode, we picked up a lot, a lot of points. And we've done a lot better. So, you know, hopefully going into this episode, we're going to kind of repeat the same. And actually, against our first opponent, who was Sam Southampton, we actually started to do that. Because, as you see, first chance of the game in the 24th minute, uh, it kind of fell well to Antonio and he finished it off with his left foot. He stepped up big last episode and uh, I was hoping he'd do the same again this episode and you can see he's already started to do that. So let's see, fourth goal of the scenes for him already. He's a tank, he's a beast, just has been so good so far. Let's see, look at this goal. Who holds off two defenders and uh, in the end finesses it past the goalkeeper, uh, Gazaniga. Don't know where Fraser Forster is, but obviously they've played him instead. And uh, it's kind of gone in our favour because, as you see, Antonio gets a really good goal, really good finish, and makes it 2 0. So that's how it was going into uh, half time. Picks up his fifth goal of the season now. I'm so happy I bought him. He's just such a, he's such a good player. I just can't go over how good he is. Um, you know, he's got physical power, strength, everything. It's just really good player anyway into the second half now and with this game with a lot well with all the games to be fair this episode it kind of um went with how the the goals kind of resulted in the only chances like the chances we had equaled in goals let's see it was a good shot there from Dembele luckily Matt Phillips was there on hand uh, right at the place at the right time to obviously tap in his fourth goal of the season but like I was saying the chances that happened resulted in goals so there weren't actually a lot of chances going on it was just um, we were kind of just really good with our shooting today and I see uh, as Roberts really regrettably uh, actually gets injured for four weeks now this season so far as we've picked up loads of loads of injuries I mean don't get me wrong they haven't been out for that long um it's just that they've been getting like three weeks and four weeks and then they're missing important games like this one against arsenal so it's it's not i wouldn't say it's damaging a lot because you know we're doing very well it's just that it's very frustrating i mean when we was in league one we hardly got no injuries whatsoever and then when we was into the championship we got a few more but the thing is with them injuries they were for like a long period i remember loftus cheek who thankfully has come back this season and he's a beast now um he was out for seven months so you know he was out for a long long time and we kind of missed him last season because you know this season he's been such a vital part to our team and he's been such a tank but i see we are against arsenal now and they did take the lead well back i see Got set up by Bellerin. It was a good goal from there, to be fair. They, they played it very nice around our defenders. I had to be fair, I had no chance, actually. Uh, Bellerin did very well here, and uh, he found Welbeck, who had an easy finish in the end. So they made it 1 0. And Arsenal are actually top. And how, going into this game, surprisingly, we were second. I don't know how, but we was. Um, surprises me now talking about it but you know obviously like I said last episode and this episode you know we've kind of picked up a lot of results so far and uh, we've had like seven win wins in a row so that's why we're probably you know up there and luckily as you see uh, Antonio actually gets another goal for himself I mean El Nene you could say probably should have maybe tackled him and if you know, he did. Obviously, it wouldn't have resulted in a goal, but luckily, uh, Antonio did get the ball and finish it in the end. So, he gets another goal for himself for the episode, another goal for himself on the season. And we're doing quite well. I mean, Santa Cazola pulled off a brilliant shot there, hit the post. It was very unlucky for him. But as you see, uh, as we nearly get a goal here. Uh, good save from Sommer. Now, Arsenal, um, I don't know why, but since the three seasons, obviously, this is the third season with Sheffield United, um, they've got Kilo Navas. Uh, Rui Patricio and now Sommer. I don't know why they've bought so many good goalkeepers, 
But I don't know if they've got them all still, but I know they've definitely got Rupert to show and Summer. I just don't see the point in that. But even better, from that corner, we actually went and scored, and it's that guy, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, getting his head, using his uh, his jumping ability. I don't know if he's got any or not, but, you know, he used that, made it 2-1. And I was, you know, feeling quite good, to be fair, but... Ramsey played it to the Ox, Ox played it back to him, and uh, quite a Frank Lampard-esque goal that, because Ramsey, well, like Lampard used to do, he used to play the ball to the wing and get into the box, and Ramsey basically did the same, so he finishes it off and makes it 2-2. I mean... Arsenal, don't get me wrong, they weren't like shooting a lot or making a, you know, making a lot of chances. They were just piling on loads of pressure and playing the rock ball around my box and I just couldn't deal with it in the end. And also, as you see, they did make it 2-2. Um, I thought after that goal, it was kind of more of us. I mean, I thought we was very unlucky not to get a third goal and maybe snatch the three points, actually. Uh, we came quite close there with two very similar chances. But in the end, I mean, I take a draw. Normally, when we play against better teams, they do play a second side. It's, you know, it's very kind of the same throughout FIFA. If you if you are a newly promoted team or not a very good team in the Premier League and you know you play the likes of Arsenal, Chelsea, Man U, Man City, they will play a second team against you. But for some reason Arsenal didn't have to do that. You know they played all the big stars, Casola, um, Bellerin, Ozil. You know they played a lot of the good players, and I was quite surprised actually. But it was the opposite actually because Man City um, did actually go on to play their second side. I mean they had Lawler. In goal, I think that's how you say the name. They had no other good players. I mean, De Bruyne, Aguero, Sterling was all on the bench. And I was feeling quite happy because, you know, if they want to do that, that's fine with me because I will take advantage of that. Because, you know, we're playing very, very good football at the moment. I don't think we've lost in eight games. And, you know, for them to play a second team will obviously backfire on them because, you see, 22nd minute, they actually, uh, they're youngster and they're, you know, not a very good centre back. I mean, the only really good player they were playing were company. And in the end, his partner, uh, centre back, actually goes and takes, um, I think it was Antonio down. He obviously scored the penalty with a good finish, sending the goalkeeper the wrong way. But then he got a red card, so they were down to 10 men with bloody 75 minutes to play. So, you know, it's their own fault, really. And um, it was kind of the same with the whole game. I mean, Man City, they weren't actually really in it first half, especially. They was not in it whatsoever. And Antonio just, I know it was a penalty, but it just gets another goal for himself. And he's been unreal this episode, he really has. And again... Uh, Man City's old centre back Humphreys Grant. He is he's a centre back and he played a brilliant ball through to Dembele, who obviously finished off a great finish as well. So in the 45th minute plus three additional minutes, we uh, get another goal for ourselves, a second goal. Dembele. Um, I mean, I brought him quite late into the summer transfer window, so you know I think he missed about three games. So obviously he ain't got kind of the goal. Um, depth as the other players I mean obviously he hasn't scored that many so far but he, he's still doing bits up front and I'm still happy that I bought him to be fair because I think he's a really good player anyway second half and obviously we were soon alone but they did get a good goal here I see Sami Nasri who obviously is back from on loan um, played a brilliant ball into Delph and he finished it off a really good goal Delph had him in the whole city cream mode and he was actually unreal he's a really underrated player and I thought it was great so um, he made it 2-1 and apart from that actually after that, nothing really much happened. I mean, it was just very, very tight, very, you know, square. It was just not a very good game overall after that happened. So, luckily, as you see, we do finish the episode with not lost again. We're only four points behind Arsenal with a goal in hand. So, we are doing unreal, guys. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit like button, subscribe if you are new. And, guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.